Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Fast Food Wine Pairings. Uh, I'm Derek, and today uh, we're going to pair a couple of wines with a Big Mac uh, value meal from McDonald's. So, without any ado, um, let's let's get into the wines, and then we'll talk about what we're looking for in a pairing. Um, today I have two kind of end-of-the-spectrum wines for this. Um, I'm not really sure how well they're going to pair, but we're going to see. Um, I have a uh, another of the Tisdale store brand blend wines um, that are three dollars a bottle at the local local grocery store uh, this is a sweet red doesn't really tell us what varietals are used in it but it's supposed to have a lot of black cherry raspberry uh, medium bodied with a very smooth velvety finish so um, I'm thinking that will go well with um, the immense flavor um, with a special sauce on the Big Mac um, and we also have a Chenin Blanc from Sutter Home. Um, this is hopefully going to have some, I don't know for sure, but what I was looking for with the, this pairing was a pear apricot um, with a little like oak and um, uh, vanilla notes from the oak in there to uh, even this out. So let's let's go ahead and try the wines here. That's pretty much what I expected. It's very much like church wine or, I mean, just a very sweet, not a lot going on, not, no real tannins or dryness. I mean, it's, an, it's a nice drinking wine, but it, I mean, for something with, with my palate anyways, it's not something I could drink all night. It's very sweet. definitely a crisper wine. I wouldn't call it dry, but very crisp. It's got those pear and apricot notes that I was I was hoping for, as well as just a little bit of oak um, hint in there, French or American, I'm not sure. Not that it really matters, um, but it's very nice. So let's uh, get into this Big Mac here. I think it's been since I was about eight years old since I've had one of these, so exciting that actually isn't too bad with the Big Mac Big Mac's got a lot of onion flavor in there that special sauce and pickle as well and just a lot of bread that are very neutral tones so uh, the sweetness of that wine is not unpleasant um, let's see what the other one's like. Oh yeah, that's a much better pairing. Um, they're both good, but uh, I would say if you're going out for a, a cheap night on the town and you're picking up a Big Mac and a bottle of wine, uh, a Chenin Blanc or an equally fruity, medium bodied, but a little bit of oak um, backboned white wine would suit you quite well. You might be able to get away with a, a California Chardonnay or a uh, Pinot Gris or something of those of that nature. But uh, yeah, the uh, Sutter Home Chenin Blanc goes quite well. So that's all I have for you today. I'm going to eat the rest of this. And thanks again for tuning in. And we'll see you next week with another fast food wine pairing.